Welcome back to Big Guy Small Cars. Ron here. We are going to unbox the Force RC 110th scale outbreak four wheel drive monster truck RTR. This is really interesting because Force RC has been around for a bit. They are a Horizon Hobby outlet brand, which typically means they're only available via their website. And until now, they have done planes, and that's it. Now we have surface vehicles. This is a pretty bare bones packaging. The entire box is white, except for this sticker that has been haphazardly slapped on here. There is a lot of information on here though. Um, dimensions, uh, as far as the width, height, weight, all that stuff is on here. What's really got me intrigued is it does include dynamite electronics. It is made in China, so I'm pretty sure one of the viewers here are going to say, hey, this is really an XYZ that you can get on Banggood, but whatever. This is 139 bucks, really reasonable price. Four-wheel drive. I know that JTRC got the same color and vehicle that I did um, from their surface vehicles. Um, I was torn between the red outbreak and the purple Warhawk. If I love this, I'll probably still go ahead and get the Warhawk, so we'll see. Let's give this a uh, a quick open here. There's not much to it because they don't have to worry about it being stuck on shelves. So there's no tape or anything on the box. And it's a pretty straightforward sort of unbox. In this box here, um, we're going to have our radio. And I hope the wall charger, I know that JT's was missing, his wall charger was missing. Let's pull this out. Look at that. Looks like we have a wall charger. Um, let me just verify that the wall charger is here. Not that it's a big deal, um, but like him, I do tend to trickle charge stuff from time to time. So yeah, there it is. Got the EC3 connector on it. Pretty simple wall charger. I think based on the battery that it's a 10 hour charge. So I'm not gonna be using it much, but occasionally I might use it. Here's a radio. This looks like a, uh, maybe a fly sky variant. Although these buttons up here um, look a little odd for a fly sky. So I'm not sure. I do believe that this is a, this is a four. Yeah, that's weird. I'll figure out how to open that off camera. But I believe it's uh, four cells, double uh, A cells that are gonna be on there. You've got basic trims, foam on the wheel, which is nice, which is kind of funny. Looks like a button for a third channel. It's got good throw, it's got good feel. It, it feels a little bit like a D2XE, but it's not shaped like it at all. So who knows, we will get it figured out. Anyway, let's get into the truck here. Um, we've got a book, antenna tube, and yeah, that definitely looks like a plastic pinion, so we'll have to look into that. And uh, the vehicle seems like it is attached to this cardboard. Let me see how it's attached. Okay, a couple of wire ties. One's already been snapped. Let me snap this other one here. And we should be able to just pull this truck right out of the box. box to the side. Let's see here. It's a really good looking vehicle. Looks like I'll have to get in there to get the rest of the wire tie off. That is pretty actually. I like the red. Um, so this comes in red or black with the same outbreak uh, paint on it. Um, like I said, they do have a short course truck that is, uh, that one comes in kind of a, a combo of colors with some blues and reds and whites in there. And then the other one is, um, purple and I think black, it's called the Warhawk. And here's the vehicle. And sure enough, there's a, the rest of these wire ties to get off. There we go. And we have a Dynamite 550 sized 15 turn motor. 
Uh, looks like we have a 2,000 milliamp. Looks like we have a 2,000 milliamp battery. I was hoping I would be able to throw a hump pack in here because I have an extra hump pack for a seven cell, but this door is gonna prevent that. There is a foam in here, so I could probably pull the foam out and do a seven cell stick pack that way. But uh, 2,000 milliamps, we'll get that charged up. Plastics look okay. A little rigid, not as flexy as I would have expected. Interesting. Okay. Um, the front and rear bumpers look identical. So I'm guessing. No, the arms are different. Huh. So it looks like this stuff in here is going to be the same, but that's about it. Okay, that's fine. I'm a little surprised. The um, tires feel really nice and they are foamed. I was expecting... Um, kind of a harder plastic and maybe no foams. I know that the Horizon ECX brand tends to not have foams in their tires. Doesn't feel like it's hanging at all. So that looks good. Let's give it a, another view. Let's give it a good side view here. All right, look at that. That is a good looking truck. I really like that. The profile is good. It's a little odd here how you can See a little bit of the chassis sticking out, but that's not a big deal. That's just me being picky. Take this off here. Let's get a little bit closer. Can't see the servo real well. It is a Spectrum Surface Servo. Has no... That might just be a sticker because it's got no uh, model number I can see. Uh, Force RC branded receiver. And that is a Horizon. Yeah, there's a Horizon uh, ESC there, a Dynamite one. Now that is a rebadged Hobby Wing, I'm pretty sure. And it's the same that they put in their ECX vehicles. Uh, they've got a couple of different ones. I'll have to figure out which one this is. compared to the other ones I have. But that's pretty much it. Um, 15 turn, 550 can. Uh, might, for funsies, try switching that out for a, um, for a uh, 12 turn, 550. Suspension, feels okay. It's a little heavy in the back, obviously. So you can see there that it's on a little bit of an angle, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes there. Um, yeah, I think we'll do some driving videos on it and, and uh, see what happens. So that's the Force RC Outbreak uh, Monster Truck. Looks like this is on the exact same chassis as the um, short course version. So uh, let me know what you think, guys. In the meantime, go out there and drive your cars.